pieces back together. This thing used to be sideways with a huge curve in it. We'll have to take that out and uh, have that point towards the back, but I want it low enough that it doesn't take away from the function um, of this, which would have been most likely a hammer on the back end of that uh, axe head. Anyone that's uh, watched me over the last year and a half knows that I'm obsessed with these things. I've recreated a bunch of them. This is the first one I've ever held. And you can see if the light catches it just right, this thing used to have a beautiful polished finish on it. But there's so much uh, dirt and dust over a couple thousand years that has deposited in there and weather damaged this. So I'll sand it down a little bit, probably take a buffing wheel on my Dremel, see if we can clean out all that dust, put a little bit of a shine back on it like it used to. I'd like it all to be like that. Sharpen it up a little bit. That uh, nice beveled edge there is completely damaged. Be a lot of fun working on this. Again, this is so exciting for me, this being my first one to actually work with. So, we'll get going on it. That thing had amazing amount of dirt packed in every one of those pores. It did not take very long, but I think this is going to have a beautiful pattern to it. Look at that. To be able to see what it really looked like, I think really gives you an appreciation of how much work and effort went into it. So, pretty cool so far. So I've been making some progress on these. Everything's glued. The arrow shaft is finished. Finished shaping, obviously, the knife handle there and the axe handle. Get some rawhide and wrap that around the top through that three quarter groove and finish that. So we're getting probably three fourths done. This has been a fun project. Mm -hmm.